Hi everyone and thank you for purchasing my latest action set. This is very exciting because it's something I've been working on for a little while. With this particular image it's pretty much ready to start editing so what I'm going to do is work between both of my action sets, the workflow and my new set which is called Beautiful Skin and Details. The first thing I want to do is soften the baby's skin so I'm going to play the soft baby skin action. So it says paint the layer on at 100% avoiding hair lines and edges then adjust the layer opacity to taste. So we're painting this on all the way over. So you can see now that I've painted it at 100%. If we turn that layer off, you can see the original skin tones and now the softened skin tones. At 100% it makes it very soft, so I usually bring my layers back to around the 70% mark. And even when you turn that off again, it's still making a considerable difference, but leaving a fair bit of texture in the skin. So we'll merge those two layers together. The next thing I'm going to do to this image is just give it a little bit of a, um, a creamy skin which is also going to brighten it. So I'll press play on that action. You can see it's really brightening up the skin tones there and making them beautiful and creamy but you know because of all this wool around the outside I'm going to paint the action over the entire image or at the very beginning you could have just inverted that mask by pressing command I. And hitting the backslash key to turn on my guide to see where I've missed. So that is before and after. So I'm also looking at my histogram up here to make sure that I'm not using any highlights but I, I do know that the highlights that I am losing are going to be up here in these bright spots. So we'll merge those two layers together. The next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of eyeliner to the baby. In this action, it says paint eyeliner on with a soft edge brush and adjust the layer opacity to taste. So we'll zoom right in. And with a nice small brush, We turn it off and then back on again so it's giving it some nice definition but we're just going to bring the opacity of that down so it's not too heavy and merge that together. The next thing I'm going to do is give the lips a little bit of detail and I know this is called eye pop this action but what it does do is really define eyes that are open but it also works well on other areas and because this baby has incredible lips I'm actually going to use this particular action on them. So I press play and it says using the lasso tool select around the edge of the eye, well in this case the mouth, then press play and adjust layer opacity to taste. And press play again. You can see the definition that it's given them. It's a little bit too much so we'll just bring that back a bit. And it's just made them stand out a bit more. Okay. We'll go up here to the original set, the workflow set, and what I'm going to do is paint on some background blur to this wool to make it really soft. So with a large white brush at 100%, turn our guide on, Oh, 
and then we'll bring the, you can see that that's quite soft, so we'll bring the opacity down to probably about 20%, maybe 25. And then we're going to blur the edges. And just bringing the opacity of that back until we've got a little bit more detail there. All right. And lastly, I don't think that I need to increase the pinkness of the baby's cheeks. And that action is included in both sets. Um, and we don't need to whiten teeth. We just need to sharpen. And if the babe, if this was a, a close-up image, I would definitely use the blotchy skin just to give it that beautiful even tone. But it works very similar to the soft baby skin, but more so for babies that have, have got quite blotchy skin. The sharpen action, which is from the original action set as well, I would just play that over the eye line and the lip area. You can see, turn that on and off and bring the opacity of that down, probably to around 60%, so we're not over sharpening. And if we click back to the original image, you can see the before and the after. And there you have it.